You have a boss chick mayor of a small village in Illinois who's more concerned with parading around town like she's some hip hop star or an actress in a movie than actually fixing the town's issues. She calls herself the super mayor. You could find her riding around town all day making content for Facebook with a bunch of security guards around her, guys getting paid from the town's budget every two weeks. One officer was paid for working over 300 hours in a two week period when there's only 336 hours in two weeks. Cashing in on a bunch of overtime that wasn't even humanly possible. Taking home over $13,000 in one pay period. Yes, $13,000 for two weeks of work. The township is losing a lot of money while they fund the city girl mayor who's serving two positions at the same time for two different towns. In Dalton, she's a mayor. And in Thornton, Illinois, She's a township supervisor. Both positions combined pays her a quarter of a million dollars per year. Thornton is a small Cook County suburb of Chicago with a population of about 2,400. Dalton is also in Cook County, just south of Chicago with a population of 20,000. It's the residents of Dalton, a town 91% black, that's funding the super city girl mayor, Tiffany Henyard. In 2021, Tiffany was sworn in as the town's first female mayor and the youngest mayor in the city's history at 37 years old. Now she's 40 years old and the citizens of the town are not happy with how she's been running it. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from Cook County, Dalton, Thornton, or Chicago, let me know below. Can the Dalton Police Department afford to have this many officers attached to her detail? We can. We really need them patrolling the streets. So she's the part-time mayor of a south suburban village of a little more than 20,000 people. Yet residents of Dalton are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars per year to provide security for their self-proclaimed super mayor. Tonight, Fox 32 investigates Tiffany Henyard's security detail and the massive amount of overtime it is generating for a handful of officers. Our Dane Placco has more. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard, the people's mayor and people's supervisor. Tiffany Henyard makes nearly a quarter million dollars a year serving as both mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township supervisor, an elected political double dip. She's charismatic and controversial. Nobody knows something. Don't know nobody know nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident. <laughs> Pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. And it's hard to turn anywhere in Dalton without seeing Henyard's picture or online, where she recently commemorated 9-11 with her own photo. I want to ask you a few questions. Okay. But when we asked Henyard a few months ago about her use of tax dollars, she was quickly hustled out of the room by armed security. And on Facebook, in videos posted by Henyard herself, we see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which got us to wondering, why all the cops? We weren't opposed to her having the security detail. We asked how long and how often. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood says Henyard began assembling her details shortly after being elected in 2021 using hand-picked Dalton police officers. Using a freedom of information request, we obtained the work records for six of the officers assigned to Henyard's security detail at various times and showed them to some of Dalton's trustees. This is a freedom of information request we did to see how much overtime these officers are making on her security detail. Oh, wow. 162 hours. 162. Well, that's nothing. What goes through your mind when you see these numbers? Um, uh, it, it's, it's disappointing. It's frustrating. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two-week period. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. How? How does a person put in a two-week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. 
That's impossible. It's 336 hours. Does he hours never go to sleep? In fact, there are 336 hours total in two weeks, meaning Young was not being paid for only 33 hours over that period. Other officers on the security detail are also racking up overtime paychecks in the multiple thousands of dollars. Mayor, mind if I ask you a couple questions about your security detail? Absolutely not. I'm asking her. Yeah, she says no. A couple weeks ago, we tried to question Henyard about her detail as she went door to door in Dalton giving out water on a 100 degree day. Surrounded by police, firefighters, public works employees, and two videographers documenting for Dalton's Facebook page. I want to tell the people I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I hope they post what we actually do here in the village of Dalton and stop telling lies. But when we gave her an opportunity to explain the OT... Mayor, why do you need so many why don't officers, you water? You ask, details what you ask about your security? Water? What did you say, water? It sounded like you said water. water. Earlier that day, we watched as a Dalton cop drove Henyard from her other job at Thornton Township to a Mexican restaurant for lunch. Trustees say the security detail picks the mayor up at her home in the morning and is with her until she's dropped off at night, often taking her on errands and shopping. Does she need a security detail? Absolutely not. Why? Why would you need a security detail? Oh, she loves it. She just loves it. She loves the detail. <laughs> I think um, it makes her feel as if um, she's like a superstar. Dalton trustees have filed a lawsuit against Tenyard, saying she's not justified the need for security and is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on it without the board's approval. I see no justification whatsoever, and more than that, it's really a detriment to the residents of Dalton. How so? Um, the residents, if we would take the same money and put it on officers patrolling the streets, then the residents will see a much better presence and public safety would be better. We've had a few shootings, so we need the extra police patrolling our streets instead of patrolling her. And we found Dalton credit card statements showing that Henyard takes the detail with her even when she travels out of town, spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. Mayor, why are you taking all the officers out of town with you? Isn't that a waste okay. of taxpayers' money? Let's go to this one right here. Already talking. Anything you want to say to defend yourself on this? As for the village's finances, trustees say Dalton is now getting sued by some vendors for failure to pay its bills. In the last two fiscal years, we're $5 million in the hole. And a big part of it is the security detail. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing? It's embarrassing. You don't see the governor with a detail as hers. That lawsuit over the mayor's detail has not yet been settled. On Monday, we emailed a list of detailed questions to Henyard's spokesman, but never received a response. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. Now, I agree with her. That's one of the trustees. She said the governor of the whole state isn't spending money on security like the super city girl mayor. Think about it. The governor versus this lady who's the mayor of a small suburb of 20,000 people. What's even more embarrassing is the township is in the hole over $5 million in the budget for the last two years. That's under her watch. She's not helping with the budget either. She's blowing the budget and making it worse trying to walk around like a celebrity all day but not really getting work done. And the numbers don't lie. Out here with DJs at the town meeting, really performing like she's putting on a concert. About a month ago, she shut down a car show, all because she was having an event the same day on the town's dime, of course, and didn't want people to go to the car show. So to avoid people not showing up to her event and hurting her ego, she shut down the car show. Then you have these officers in their overtime. I'm getting Mayor Kentrell vibes, the mayor of New Orleans, a much larger city than the town that this woman is over. But Mayor Kentrell was out here sleeping with one of the officers on her security detail. Wow, she was a married woman. And believe me, they look more into that guy that Tiffany had working for her for 24 hours a day. You'll find out something is going on there. How can he work for you for 24 hours per day, two weeks straight, and make over $13,000 in a two week period? And of course, these crooked people, they're protecting her. They won't let anyone ask her questions because when she's busted, they will be too. Hopping on flights, staying in hotels, paying for food, all this overtime, 10 cops standing around her at all times. First of all, it's not like she's the mayor of Chicago, an international city. Why is she catching all these flights, supposedly handling business for a small town of 20,000 people? 
All the business you need to be handling is on the streets of that town. Yeah, the streets where crime is increasing while you got all the officers picking you up and chauffeuring you all day. This is how she's running a 91% black town. I see a wannabe Stormy Wellington here. She's obviously been watching these boss chicks online on IG for years, and I can clearly see that she's trying to imitate them. It's just so embarrassing. Running the town in the ground, ignoring the trustees, and just doing whatever she wants. And I'm gonna blame the citizens for this too. The people who put her in this position. All she needed was some long weave that came from somebody else's head, some nails and a rest record, a party with some food, barbecue or fish fry, and that's about it. It's pathetic and super embarrassing, the people that black folks support and defend. Talking about she's a super mayor, and the sad thing is in these people's heads, they probably believe she's their friend because she danced with them or gave them a free box of chicken or something. The secondhand embarrassment of it all bothers me. It's like one big joke or an episode of Boondocks. This is just crazy. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know your thoughts on the super city girl mayor slash supervisor. She's holding two positions in two different towns in Cook County. Part-time mayor in one town and I'm assuming she's a part-time supervisor in the other. Getting paid for both positions and using funds to make social media videos all day, following her around like she's the latest TikTok rapper or star on Love & Hip Hop. Special thank you to Tiffany, and no, I'm not talking about Mayor Tiffany, I'm talking about my sister Tiffany. Much love to Tiffany for always supporting the channel, as well as Brian, and shout out to Chris and Houston for sending this story in. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.